You too, what's up? It's Who's King Sean, and we back again with another classic. You know, on this channel, we talk about personal credit, we talk about business credit, we talk about anything that can help you and your family get to the next level. So if you would like a one-on-one -on -one with me, all you need to do is hit the description right below this video, hit my site, pick your damn time, and we can lock in on that personal side or on that business side and really turn you up for 2023. So before we start the video again too, I would like to let you know I finally dropped my ultimate credit repair guide you could get it hit the description right below this video go ahead and get your ebook i'm gonna let you know i'm gonna show you from a 500 to a 750 if you follow the steps properly i'm letting you know in this ebook you will get the collection and the charge off removal letters hold on i said hold up wait a minute you will get the inquiry removal method and you will get the check system removal letters for all y'all that is stuck in that check system and can't get out that will be in this ebook now i will be giving away a lot of hacks in it a lot of methods a lot of tips to really turn you up and really jump that score anywhere to 100 to 150 points very easy this is let me tell you son when it comes to really building a personal credit score is not really hard you just got to follow the, you know you got to follow the right steps you can't have collections you can't have charge-offs you can't have a bunch of inquiries you gotta follow the steps and in this ebook i'm gonna show you step by step you need to do to really shoot that score up to a 750 and be able to get approved for any kind of personal loan credit cards or whatever you're doing so hit the description and go check out my ebook and really turn it up for 2023 so let's get to the video now everybody want to know i've been getting a lot of comments in the last video um how i got approved for seventy five thousand dollar business line of credit with wells fargo now i'm going to show you my personal score right above this is my fico score at an 813 and this is my business scores in the high 80s which on the personal is basically close to an 800 now I just needed you to see an overview of my personal scores before we move forward, but I'm going to show you the steps. Let's go over this first, and I'll tell you what I needed to bring the bank to get approved for the $75,000. So they actually got three, but I'm just going to let you know now. We're not even going to talk about it. The typical business right here, you need to bring in at least two to $10 million in sales. So What? We're not even going to talk about that right now. We're going to talk about right here, small business advantage line of credit for customers in business less than two years, right? If you less than two years, listen to me clearly, no annual fees. This one goes between $5,000 and $50,000 revolving credit line rates as low as prime as 4.5 automatic enrollment and a free reward program apply now and we will match you with a request approximate line of credit based on a product eligibility, right? So again if you are less than two years you will be able to apply for this business line of credit i'm going to tell you what you need now let's go up here which i applied for and it got approved for that seventy-five thousand dollars business line of credit for customers in business two or more years which is me and which is you if you more than two years right new customers offer no annual fees for the first year ten thousand to a hundred and fifty thousand dollar um, you could get with this line of credit. Again, I got a proof for the 75000 Not bad. Um, I'm putting it to work. You know, that's what we're doing. We always invest in. Um, rates as low as 1.75. Uh, I'm going to tell you what mine is at the end of the video. Automatic enrollment and a free reward program. Okay? So that's what it says on the site. I'm going to show you and tell you what you need to do if you're going to apply for it, right? You already see my personal scores. You already see my business score. When you go into the bank, you need to bring your article or organization. You need to bring your EIN number and you need to bring your revenue, how much you made in your business for those two years. They need to see that that is a must. Now, how do you get approved? I'm going to let you know what they look at with Wells Fargo. You have, I'm going to say it slow. You have your personal credit, you have your business credit, right? So this is how they do the business line of credit with the loans, right? They're going to PG it, right? But your company is going to be the borrower, right? So it's going to show that your company is borrowing the money, but you are PGing. What else I needed? 
I needed to provide documents on my personal side. Now, people have LLCs, people have S Corps and C Corps. I actually have an S Corp. Why? Because there's a lot of tax benefits and a lot of benefits, period, when it comes to S Corps. I love S Corps. I always tell people um, try to run away from that LLC because it's, it's too much tax. You know, you're paying two different tax, it's just, it's just too much. The you know, S Corps, you know, you can really save a lot of money, right? So, um, on the PG side, I had to provide the last two years of my income, right? Even though I brought the business information, remember, you're PG in and they need to see your income on the personal. So, since I have an S corporation, I had to provide my income. So, I work for my corporation and my corporation pays me a check every week. Or if, you know, because I understand a lot of people don't really understand about S Corps and, uh, you know, they really don't understand. So when I'm breaking it down, I'm trying to break it down slow that you can understand. So since my company pays me, I have pay stubs and I have income that I could, you know, provide them. So you're going to need your personal, even with the PJ, you're going to need that income and you're going to need your business income. And all that together got me approved for the $75,000 business line of credit. So I think that was pretty easy and pretty simple. I'm going to let you know they pulled my Equifax, um, but a lot of data, um, depending East Coast, West Coast, some people are getting pulled from Experian. Just to, just, just to keep your heads up. Now, you might be asking, if I don't remember, um, you'll be in the comment, what was my interest rate, right? And what it is, is an 8.9. Now with me, like I said, I don't cry about the interest rate. It is what it is. When you borrow money, still not bad. I mean, I've seen people with 12, 13, 14%. I actually have a good friend of mine that have a hundred, hundred thousand dollar business line of credit and his is sitting at about um 11 point uh 11 or something like that so you know i think i did very well putting the money to work always reinvesting back in myself like i always try to tell y'all um just to let you know people it's not easy i'm not gonna sit up here and tell you that this is easy um i worked hard on my personal and my business and with the two coming together um, I could get approved for these business line of credit. I told you exactly what you need. So don't be going out there applying if you can't provide on um, that personal side and that business side. Because again, the personal business come together and it could complete it and get your approval. So now if you're starting off in you less than two years and you're looking for five to fifty thousand dollars, it will be less lenient. But when you're going for the top one, well, the mid mid grade one, because the top one, you know, is the one down here, um, you know, you got to bring more documents. They want to see that, you know, banks is just not giving you this money, you know, like it's easy. And this is why I always try to tell you, take your life serious, um, build that personal score and really stop playing around with your life and then start that business side and build that credit side. Come on now. I got the business ebook coming probably in the next couple months. I'm going to put it together. I know a lot of people um, love the business side, but before you could get to the business side, you got to have your personal side put together. So go ahead, you know, go right in the description. I got the ebook. Hit my site, get your ebook, and really take your personal score serious again. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm up out of here. Peace.